Melanie Lawrence Biography Before we go to the video, please subscribe to our channel, thank you. The future celebrity was born on February 21, 1983 in one of the most beautiful capitals of Europe, Paris. His father, a Jew by birth, was in dubbing films, and a French mother taught ballet. Melanie spent her childhood in the 9th arrondissement of Paris, known for its creative people. Already at a young age, he began to seriously engage in attractive cinema and dreamed of becoming a famous actor, Melanie Laurent once happened to be on the set of the movie, Asterix and Obelix. Here on his 16-year-old daughter noticed, Gerard Depardieu, who invited her to participate in his next project called, Bridge Between Two Rivers. As a result, in 1999 young Melanie appeared on the big screen for the first time. The directors of the melodrama were Frederick O'Byrton and Zirard Depard, in which he also performed the title role.ad. We can be confident that Melanie Lawrence's first act was a success, because it began to be actively invited in various projects. As a result, in the next 10 years on the screen more than 20 paintings of different genres with his participation. The most notable of these films are, This Is My Body, 2001, I Want a Kiss From You, 2002, Maximum Extreme, 2003, I've Been Waiting For You, and, I Am The Heart Of The Rejected, 2005, and others, Melanie Laurent, whose filmography now includes a significant number of notable works, achieved success in 2006 and even more because of filming in the film Filippo Lior, entitled, Don't Worry, I'm Fine and the director with the performance of the previous roles of the actor, which was established in this project without any tests and preliminary experiments. As a result, the brilliant Lauren is played by a 19-year-old girl named Lily, who fell into a desperate depression in connection with the disappearance of her twin brother. Through this work, Melanie won the prestigious Caesar Film Award that I end this film, the actress was able to show a very touching sister's love in relation to her twin brother, who is literally her half from the moment of conception. This film was very strong and was able to convey to the audience the need for patience and hope for a happy outcome, regardless of what it was. Thanks to the great success of Melanie's image, popularity quickly shot up. It literally reigned in different moods. However, Despite the talented filmmakers and acting in the excellent performance of Laura and the set of her partner, it is in the next few films with her participation that are worth special attention or viewers or critics. The list of work includes such films as, Patriots, 2006, Hidden Love, 2007, Death Room, 2007, Killer, 2008, and Paris, 2008. This world fame to Milani Laurent at the end of 2008, when the rolling of the film director Quentin Tarantino called Damn Bastards. At first glance, it seems that the picture tells the story of war. But in fact, at the center of the plan are people with their feelings, emotions, and motivation for action. Tarantino, in his usual way, presents the viewer with an alternative history of the progress of World War II, which caused a storm of emotions just like the audience and critics. On the set of Damn Bastards, Melanie had the opportunity to work with famous Hollywood actors such as Brad Pitt, Eli Roth, Christoph Waltz, and Schwager. Participation in this project made Melanie an international star and opened up new opportunities for her. So, in 2009, the film, Concert, was released, in which Laurent played the role of a talented violinist. In the following year, he starred alongside actor Ewan McGregor in the picture, Beginner. This was followed by such films with his participation as, Assessment, 2010, Elegy for a Murderer, 2011, The Enemy, 2013, The Illusion of Deception, 2013, and, Night Train to Lisbon. 2013, 
Dot today's hero carefully protects himself and his family from the ubiquitous journalists and paparazzi. Admittedly, it turns out that he is only brilliant, because of Lauren's privacy very little. So, interesting journalists found out that for a long time the actor was in a relationship with a colleague in Kanatsuhu Zillianam Boisail. Damien Rice, with them even his first music album, then he is twisted romantically with the singer and composer from Ireland. Today we know that the actor is married. In September 2013, she gave birth to a son named Leo. However, Milani Loran, whose husband is still unknown, apparently, is in a hurry to tell the public who is the father of her child, Melanie always wanted to be a writer and director. In 2008, he had a chance, and he became the creator of a very interesting short film entitled, Less and Less. It's interesting that, try for a role in Damn Bastards, Loran spoke very badly in English. However, he had to learn the language quickly, ready to shoot. In 2011, Melanie became the face of a French fragrance, Dior Hypnotism Sam, replacing her predecessor, Monica Bellucci. Laurent is a lefty.